were casting there was a guy named Chance, so and then Mark was like, Chance is gonna take a chance. And we're just like, yo, I see you, bro, I see you, bro. That's Mark. Gotcha. Mark is pretty famous for that. <laughs> just, the, just the easiest sayings right there, Berserk <laughs> going Berserk. And like you said, Berserk is absolutely going off 12 and 3 right now, does have one capture to his name as well. And I mean, NRG has been doing such an excellent job really getting the setup. But the score right now, if I w didn't have a score in front of me, I think NRG would have a pretty big lead over Torque right. right now, but they don't. There's literally two points separating his team, and Torque has the lead. From the setup that I saw, NRG had that going pretty well for quite some time, having that a deadly AC setup. But I mean, I guess it's not. I don't know what Torque is doing. They're just somehow have the lead in this game. Well, play is pushing out of spawn and gathering that A flag to answer back to NRG's. Anarchy, really, throughout this map. 55-61 here in the final minute 20. If Torque, though, doesn't hop on a triple cap right now, Dirk, it's not going to matter after dropping by 20 points on the first side now with only a 9-point lead. Yeah, definitely. Let's go ahead and jump on board with Spectre right now. 12, 8, and 2. are going to be using that Vector. Trying to push over to the C area. And like exactly what you said, they have to get really aggressive. Try to go for an installation or a 3 cap. They're up by 20, NRG is, and I believe that it's uh, it's not going to be mathematically impossible yet. No, but they, they really can have still to, do this. They have to kick it into gear, and I believe they're definitely going to have to go for a three cap at one point to go for neutralization. But it's, it's really not looking like that right now. I mean, 14 NRG, points. Yeah, now I mean, 15. Just, oh wait, I was, I, dude, I'm going crazy. I'm looking at the scoreboard wrong. No, it's 80 to 65 right now. Torque with a 15 point lead on the second side. 30 seconds left. And actually, Spectre's going to hop on the C flag as they are losing A. They really do need this C flag. And he's going to drop, neutralizing it. And that was a big kill from Berserk because they're going to recapture C, which means that with a 14 point lead and 18 seconds left, that's going to thwart Torque enough to give NRG the lead and keep their lead from the first side. NRG is going to pick up the W here on Domination Strike Zone. A great win by NRG off their host as well. Something to just keep in mind there. Finally picking up a respawn game type after losing the previous two. Now we're going to Search and Destroy where we saw NRG absolutely get super hyped and just control that entire Search and Destroy game. So let's see what Torque is going to be able to do to try to turn that one around. I did not catch the second side score. Crud. Second okay. side score, I didn't even bother looking at it because it was already a W for NRG. Berserk going big for the team. Playing so consistently on that domination strike zone. That guy went 16 and 9, had a couple of captures for him as well. And your boys from NRG able to thwart Torque enough on that second side where honestly Torque just played better than NRG. NRG just outbesting there in the final moments to take the W. We're tied in this best of seven though, guys. Two to two between NRG and Relapse Torque. Tweet out the stream. And uh, just a couple quick things, guys. We're, we are literally, we're getting close to that 70K views here on Twitch and just a few hundred followers from 3,000. If you enjoy the show matches as much as you guys say you do, hit that follow button, tweet out the stream. Let's get some more people in here for some potentially more giveaways. And uh, as we switch lobbies, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this.
What's up, guys? We are back here. Perfect Alliance show match, as always, going on every single day. Because you know that we like to keep it 500 in this old blah. You know what I'm saying, John? I know what you're saying, Duff. Don't have to reply to that. But anyway, 2-2 two -two is going to be the map count. NRG going up against Torque Relapse or Relapse Torque, whatever you would like to call it. But very intense games as we are going into Search and Destroy on sovereign this is gonna be an interesting one to say the least i'm just i'm interested to see what torque is gonna be able to do and i just got an error message that says match rules did not match the checksum also don't know what you just said my i got an error on my screen it said match rules did not match checksum well dirk while you're getting that all geared away <laughs> and uh and squared off guys we got honey badger coming at you for hitting those 100 viewers tonight again appreciate the support dropped a few names in the chat that followed the stream so make sure you guys are following that stream uh to be eligible for that honey badger giveaway here at the end but you know quick shout out to these guys duffman and dirk for doing the casting tonight hit them up on their own uh, twitch channels duff is usually streaming pretty much every day and normally he goes and streams right after he's done here so make sure you guys are hitting him up and dirk is normally on that stream uh, grind, but he's kind of just slacking off a little bit. I can't he's on a high atus. How am I on a, like a slacking my stream grind? I don't have good enough internet to stream. I have like 0.8 upload, not even. No, it's not at all. Not even close to being good enough. Derek, don't make excuses. Make it happen. I should go to McDonald's and just use their Wi-Fi. Get a, I get one of those. Uh, what is it? Games you page or whatever. <laughs> No, Get a game I'm, stage and just hang out at McDonald's. Just sit in my car streaming. I'll be, I'll be the next skinny man. Just taking my laptop wherever I go. <laughs> You're going to be playing and someone's going to be like, man, you got that McDonald's in it. You'll be like, hell yeah, selfie. Hey, no, like seriously, bro. I'm in the parking lot right now. McDonald's. Use my games page. I actually have McDonald's Wi-Fi connection. I ain't playing. You are. I got a McDouble in one hand and my controller in the other. Come at me, bro. Come at Boom. me. Oh, everybody on Torque is using an AR. Everybody. Wow, check it out. I love I love the, the, the moves here, Cotton, and uh, much more than I love the Spectrum camo from Sex Pig. Torque on offense, NRG. Going to be on D, and uh, I do see some Bulldogs. But judging by that AR setup, I'm predicting an A push. More of those long-range gun battles will keep those shotguns at bay. Hopefully it pays off for Torque. As uh, I'm predicting an A push. What do you think, Dirk? Hmm. I don't know. Like you said, they have all the ARs, so it's just kind of going for the range. If they were to go to B, you would have to have someone at least in close quarters. Literally, once you get inside B, it's really going to come down to Bison, Bulldog, Entar, whatever you have. The Bison will win everything because that gun is just the best there ever was. But you called it good pushing that A side right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump on board with Grim AC. is going to be the bomb carrier. Trophy system is going to go down as well as many nades being tossed over that server room side. And that's wow. just some, it's something that is going to be pretty interesting. You see what these players on ARG are going to do who are over here at B. Kind of picking Woo! up on it and ready to just collapse on them if they need to. Raptor picking up a big kill on your bomb carrier, Grim. Gonna leave a 3v4 situation. Spectre trying to get some kills. He's gonna drop, not before Meezy will clean him up. Now it's 2v2 as both teams will trade. Spots a player back, research. Can't get the shots to finish. You gotta be careful because he just got shot from behind by Gas Bulldog, leaving Sex Pick by himself. Right now, he's gonna try to make something happen on the flank. Will get shot down though by Will. NRG will take round number one and uh that's not good for torque considering nrg 6-2 torque relapse in that first s and d on warhawk yeah i mean look at gas already off to a hot start one and all on top of the leaderboard for him but that's definitely going to be the player that we have to watch from nrg as a search and destroy does go on uh, let's see i'm going to go ahead and jump oh look now wait wait i was going to go and jump over the bomb care but look at gas pulling out the lmg with Fermo again we have to jump up over him to see what magic he's going to be able to show us. And uh, right now, just kind of playing it slow, oh. looking up top of the map room. Uh, shots are actually going down, not between Gast or anybody, but a few other players on the map. Meezy is going to be inside of this B area right now. But, I mean, Gast just, uh, while his teammates go over to A, he's just kind of sitting back here and watching the flank. Will's going to be your bomb planter right now. Well, uh, your boy Berserk's going to go big. 
With a two-piece there, leaving Measy by himself in a 1v3. He's been spotted, and he's been shut down. As seems to be the story here with NRG and SD. They are SD gods, as so it seems with Torque. Unable to come back with really anything up against this team. NRG up 2-0. They'll be moving over to defense. Let's see if Torque can pick something up. Yeah, they won that offensive round. That's always big winning those. Definitely going to give you a, a big momentum boost, I guess you could say. I mean, just winning those offense. kind of like just a thing, like a, a monkey off your back, whatever. Big relief. I don't know what you want to call it. I suck with trying to think of all these little analogies that I have in my head. But, I mean, uh, it's just NRG now on defense. Defense is more favorable side and search and destroy. So let's see what they're going to be able to do here. I'm going to go ahead and jump on board Berserk. Going to be able to pick up one, trying to pre-fire through that green room. But now the man count is going to be tied up 3-3 three to three. Berserk. Actually on a forward kill streak, 5-1. and one. Gas is pretty much left last alive. Now Berserk left last alive in a 1 versus 3. Shots are going to go down. Nothing he could have really done there. Sex Pig is going to be the player in your final kill cam. Finally, your boys from Torque. Able to answer back, it will now move to 2-1, and this is the exact same thing happened on S&D Warhawk. NRG went up two rounds in a row, Torque answered back, and then it was just NRG, NRG, NRG. Let's find out if NRG can produce the same results. Moving on over to offense, Will, your designated demolitions expert, as my boy Mark, aka Mazes Realm, would say, will take this bomb over to A, and he's got some help from the rest of his team. Yeah, definitely. Let's go about to jump aboard with Will right now. He's going to be running the AR for the squad, just trying to get a pick before they make something happen. It's going to be a player rushing all the way through underground. That player is going to be Berserk. That robot is in his way. There's a player right across from that robot. Berserk's going to trade some shots. Well, I believe the player that he was trading some shots with is actually going to be Grim Ace, but nobody's able to go down there. But Gast is down for NRG, so now they are down in the man count. And, I mean, just right now, Torch starting to pick up some momentum here. We know that they... They, it was actually a 2-0 lead in favor of NRG, but they've been able to get the first bloods and really start to make things happen. 3v4, very passive. Make it 2 as Will will drop, rotating back to B. Now Berserk. 1v4, last alive, and uh, this is the same thing that happened last time. He was up. He's got to make a big play here, and he's not going to be able to. All four players on Torque will team kill NRG. And we're tied up 2-2 two to two here on S&D Sovereign. We're tied up 2-2 two to two in the map count as well. I've got a feeling we got a long night ahead, guys. Tweet out the stream. This is just getting better and better between these two evenly matched teams. And speaking of evenly matched teams, we got to give a shout-out to our girl, Athena Empire, who puts together our show matches here on PA. Does such a lovely job. Always keeps it interesting, and it wouldn't be possible without her. Make sure you give her a follow on Twitter, at Athena Empire, because she's doing big things for us here at PA. All four players out, though, from both teams. Torque on offense. Great with your bomb look at that player right now already all the way on the flank that player is gonna be berserk gunfight gonna be coming up right here it's gonna be measy being able to take him out and just like that torque have been able to win two search and destroy rounds in a row and they just picked up first blood in this round as well so let's go ahead and jump on board with grimace he's gonna put that trophy system down he is the bomb carrier for the squad and again it's gonna be nrg go another player going down that player is gonna be rafter this time but specter did go down as well the bomb is gonna go down now time is going to be going against NRG. 3v2, Whale and Gast need to make something happen as they've struggled the last two rounds. Gast has that Bulldog and uh, not in a prime position as Will's working his way from the flank now by himself in a 1v3 up against Measy Sex Pick and Graham pushes towards the bottom Ninja but it's not sneaky enough because Graham will spot him and take him down and for the first time